Hey everyone, this is Squall Snake, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how the Game Boy Advance's single pack link function works. So this is a Game Boy Advance, this is the first gen Game Boy Advance, and I got another Game Boy Advance SP over here. There are select Game Boy Advance games, like Super Mario Advance, that allow you to play multiplayer games using only one game pack. So I do not have a game pack in here, no cartridge, and I do not have a cartridge in here, And but we're still going to play multiplayer games just by using link cables. This is an official Nintendo link cable here, and this has two different plugs on it. It has a purple one and a gray one. The purple one is smaller than the gray one. This is kind of the most important step. Purple one, smaller one, always is for player one, the person with the game pack. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to plug it in to the underside here. Okay, we're now plugged in. We are good to go. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn Game Boy Advance 1 on. And I'm, again, no cartridge, just turning it on. This is in standby mode. And the same thing here with this SP. Going to turn it on. Turn this volume down just a little. Okay, so now we're going to make the Game Boy in the middle, the Game Boy Advance in the middle, player two. So we're gonna connect this to the link port up here. Okay, again, no game pack. Now there are multiplayer games for Game Boy and Game Boy Color, and a lot of Game Boy Advance games in order to play multiplayer, you need multi-pack, meaning every, every cartridge needs to be inserted into a system. So this, again, two different colors, two different sizes. This is a third party. Link cable, this is actually a Pelican brand that I have. And if you see here, I don't know if this comes on the camera, you're gonna get two, whoop, this side. There's two sides. There's a Game Boy Advance, GBA and GBC. I don't know if the, <laughs> the camera could pick that up. But so anyway, I'm in the Game Boy Advance side, okay? So we're good to go. So in this link cable, right? So we're hooked up these two Game Boys, but there's one more port here. So I'm gonna take the small end, the big end, even if you try to plug it in, it won't even fit because the plastic gets in the way. So that allows you to make sure that you're plugging in the correct side. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna plug it in here. Okay, little snap. And then I'm finally, we're gonna hook up this side. All right, we are good to go. We are all plugged in and ready to go. Well, oh, really quick, I'm just gonna unplug this. Even if you, even if I try to hit multiplayer right now, Okay, let me turn the volume up. Oh. See, I'm getting an error sound. It doesn't even let me select this option. But now, if I plug it in. Okay, I think we're good to go. We are all plugged in now. So now I'm going to hit multiplayer. Let's it go. Checking. It's going to send. It's got... One, two, three player. We're gonna play it on easy. We don't want the fireball for this demonstration. And then you, it allows handicaps for this particular game. This is just classic Mario Brothers. And then you hit start. If you notice here, it lights up. The Nintendo logo lights up, it blinks at you and it's transmitting data. So player one is red Mario. Player two is green, almost looks like Luigi. And then we have a yellow Mario in this particular game. Not every game is a single pack link compatible. It's only special games because you have to program the game specifically. And here we go. So you have, I mean, I can only play this one player, but it's just classic Mario Brothers. So you can hit the pow, you got to kill these guys, you get the coin. So it's first to five coins or it's really the last man standing in this particular game. A couple of pow boxes, one at the top, one at the bottom. And these, you see here, oh, here, I'll, oop, I hit start. It's hard to play with. As you can see, I'm controlling Luigi on the bottom down here, or the, the Luigi Mario, and over here too. So you got yellow. Mario player one is out. And this is the first of five wins. So whoever wins, whoever gets five wins first, wins this particular game, then it resets. So this is single pack link. So if you wanted to link up some games, you can play multiplayer using only one game card. You get your stats here. Now the only caveat is, is so this is storing in the system's RAM. So as soon as you unplug this, you're gonna get an error. 
The other thing is, is if you ever wanted to restart or go back and play a different difficulty or adjust the handicap, for example, you'd have to shut the power off and resend the signal again. You can't go back. There is no going back to the main options because it sends that data to each system. But this is it. This is single pack link mode. I think this is really cool. A bunch of games use this. I'll actually put a link in the description. I wrote about all the compatible games that are single pack linkable. And if you ever get to stage three in this particular game, Bowser's in the middle uh, section. It's pretty cool. So a nice, this game also has music. A lot of single pack link games are, are lacking music. They're, they're lacking animation because the file size is so small on these games. I think it's only like a 256K or something like that. For, for But they can fit a whole game in there. So I think that's pretty cool. So anyway, let me know what you think. Single pack link here. What I'm going to do just to complete this is I'm going to hit... I'm going to hit power and it hangs and then you get error and that's it. So the only way to get rid of it is to turn the power off and to start again. Or if you were to unplug it during gameplay, you're going to get the same error message. So just wanted to show that. So if you turn the power off again and you turn it back on, it just goes right back to the main boot screen. So single pack link mode, I think it's really cool. What do you think? Did you ever take advantage of this? You, what games did you play? Let me know in the comments. You could follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z. And until next time, thank you for watching and game on.